In this video, I'm going to tell you and show you why you should stop paying for iCloud photo storage. What's going on? My name's Joe. Welcome to Apps That Roll, where I bring you tips, tricks, and how-tos for your phone. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is, is you're basically throwing your money away on paying for iCloud storage monthly, yearly, whatever your plan is. There's no reason to do it. We all start out with five gigs. If you have an iCloud account that you open, which if you have an iPhone, you have the five gigs. It's good for backing up your contacts and other miscellaneous things, your apps, things like that. If your phone breaks, you can go and restore it from that iCloud backup. What I'm talking about is if you're an everyday Joe and you just take some pictures of your family, you go on trips, to different places and things like that with your phone. And if you have like the lowest storage phone because you don't wanna pay for the big expensive one that has all that internal storage and you don't wanna pull them off of your phone because you don't have a computer, things like that, whatever, or you just don't wanna go through that mess, you can actually create shared photo albums that you can put up and you can share them with people through iCloud, or you don't even have to share them. You can keep them organized per trip. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. First, I wanna go over a couple things and reasons why it's such a good idea that you should stop using iCloud service and paying your money, save a couple bucks, start some shared photo albums. All right, so the first thing is, is that you can share up to 200 albums via iCloud photo sharing. Each of those shared albums can contain a maximum of 5,000 photos or videos combined, whichever you want. And the great thing about iCloud photo sharing is that photos and videos in shared albums don't count against your iCloud storage limit. So if you have the five gigs, you're good to go with shared albums. It doesn't count towards those five gigs. Hence the reason why you don't need that extra storage to put in there. All right, so next what I'm gonna show you is how to actually create a shared album. It's really simple, only takes a couple seconds really. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Photos app. At the top left, you're gonna see the blue plus sign. You're gonna hit that. It's gonna pop up and say new album, new shared album. You're gonna click on new shared album. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna name it. So we'll name it test album two because I did one earlier. We're gonna hit next. And we're going to invite my daughter, Lily. We'll send it to her. We'll create it. And then you'll see it pop up here with no photos in it. There's a couple ways you can add photos. You can go to the plus sign that it shows. We'll add strawberries. You can leave a description of what that picture is. So we'll just put strawberries and then post. You're going to see it pop up on there. At the bottom, you can see people. It's going to show you who you've invited. It's going to show that they have been invited and whether they accepted it or not. You can also click on there and remove them or you can resend the invitation if they didn't get it for some reason. You can click on invite people and actually invite more people if you'd like. You can choose to have subscribers post in that album or not. So if you just want to share it and you don't want people to add their own photos to this album, you can turn that off. They, won't, they can't show or add any other photos or videos to the album. And you can also turn on and off notifications. This will just tell you when subscribers like, comment, or add photos or videos to that shared album. And then last but not least, we'll go back to the public website. This allows anyone to view the shared album via iCloud.com. So what you do is when you turn this on, this could be for people who have a computer or basically don't have an iPhone. You can hit shared link and then you can actually text it or email it or anything like that, you wanna share it on Facebook, things like that, you can share it on there and they can actually click that link and then they can see it. So it's pretty simple to set up a shared album. Do me a favor real quick, let me know in the comments below, yes or no, if you knew about this, that it doesn't take up iCloud space, that you don't have to pay for it. Hopefully you guys will save a couple bucks for those that didn't know. And if you're interested in watching more videos about your iPhone and setting up family share plans and things like that, check out this playlist I left right here. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.